back in the day, us as humans, when we discovered light, it wasn't just, let there be light, and there was light. <laughs> we might have burnt fuels to get light, like logs of wood, or maybe fossil fuels even. And we even made portable devices like a lantern. But are they really portable? I mean, think about it. In today's world, we have things like the flashlight. A flashlight, which is such a beautifully portable device. How do I turn this guy on? Ah, there you have it. Such a beautifully portable device, right? It's even this small and tiny these days. But the circuitry is as simple as the things that you already know of. We have a source of electricity, like a cell. We have some component that uses electricity and gives us heat and light, the bulb. And of course, we have connecting wires where charged particles can flow, creating electric current. And here I have a makeshift switch as well. I need a few more things to help me build our own version of a simple electrical circuit, like a bulb holder and a cell connector. How do we go about doing this? Very simple. Just make sure that the source is connected to the switch, which connects to the bulb, which connects back to the source. Let's get at it. There you have it. And now, I screw the bulb into the bulb holder. And... Why is it not working? Well, I'll have to close the circuit. And... Ta-da! We have a beautiful circuit. Now, we don't have to think about this circuit in this kind of a diagrammatic way. We can actually make something that looks more like this. A quick DIY, if you will. Speaking of controlling the flow, have you tried Learn Journeys on Baiju's The Learning app? Well, download the app and explore personalized pathways to master different concepts. Now back to that video. I have some more components to help me out here. Let me turn this off. Here, I have a cup which has some silver foil inside of it that acts as a reflector. I have some glue, I have some clay, I have a couple of cutters, and I have two pieces of cardboard with a little bit of clay in them to attach as the top and the base. Notice that one of those pieces of cardboard has silver paper so that it can act as a reflector and it has a hole in between so that I can fit the bulb right through. Let's get to this assembly real quick and I hope you're able to follow with me on all things that are happening. Oh, by the way, to house the whole thing, we could use a cardboard like this, but I want to see what's on the inside, so I'm going to use this cellophane sheet. Okay, now the cylinder, how do I fit the circuit inside? Let's break some open and make the connections again. Ta-da! And there we have it. Now for the moment of truth. Look, there's a battery on the inside. One of its wires is coming outside and getting connected over to the switch. The other end of the switch is connected over to the bulb, which is housed inside this reflective casing. Oof, I hope this works. With the switch on, yeah! Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Uh, an amazing DIY. Switch on, switch off. Switch on, switch off. Check that out. It's just about these guys getting connected in. Switch on, switch off. <laughs> Fancy! Doesn't that look really cool? I think that project deserves an A+, if you will. <laughs> 
That actually looks so much like this. Oops, my barum fell off. Not to worry. You see how easy it was to understand how to build a circuit, to understand components of circuit, to understand how the real world can make use of our knowledge and our skills. I hope you try this at home as well for yourself. In fact, why don't you build some of these prototypes of the torch for yourself and send pictures over to us through our social media and all other channels. For more such DIY projects, download my Digital Learning app. Link in the description below.